I'm first and learned to make this video not to attract uh, any pity because these tears is not even they, sometimes the love of God just overwhelms you like this is my very vulnerable moment sometimes the way God comes through for you just it just overwhelms you you want to think that you're going when you're going through some things you want to think that sometimes you're tempted to ask if God see what you're going through if God is actually there if he actually answers prayers so something um I just I just encountered um, a storm a mountain you know something that is uh, that shook me I'm telling you the truth and I will not go into details because of course the people I'm dealing with you know they, they, they've been begging uh, begging so I'm trying to use wisdom to to just handle this situation but it just I was crying in that office because of how overwhelmed and frustrated I was with what was going on and I told them I couldn't handle it because you know my husband said he was on it if I, as soon as he got off work immediately he told me I should start heading towards the company that he was coming and um, I couldn't handle it with the tears I was just crying and I sat in the car crying I sat in the car crying and the next thing oh Jesus Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh. The next thing was a call that came through. I didn't want to pick up the call. First, I didn't even recognize the, the name. And then I didn't want to pick up the call. But something told me to pick up the call. And uh, when I picked up the call, I just said, ah, um, hello. And it was a female voice. Um, the name on the ID was a male name. There was a female voice, and I recognized that voice immediately. If you know Mama Christy Ubede, those in Houston, you know, I will know Mama Christy Ubede. Um, she's a woman of God, a pastor, some a, lady, a woman I, I respect so much. And she said, How are you, my daughter? <laughs> This is, to be honest with you, we only talk when we run into each other. I will want to push her down with hearts. Um, when she, you know, I mean, a woman that loves us dearly. And she's not someone I would, I would typically call. So I don't call her. In fact, for a whole year, I may just run into her in a program and give her a call. And she said... The Lord said, I should call you. Uh -uh. <laughs> the Lord said, I should call you and encourage you. The Lord said, I should call you and encourage you. Let your light continue to shine. The Lord said, as she said, when it came she did not even know where my number was to she said she had to go start looking for my number and she said the lord said i should call you oh god oh god he humbled me he humbled me at the overwhelming love of Jesus. I was, oh God, I was, I was like, Jesus, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that she said, the Lord said, I should call you and encourage you. Never, to, I, she has never, she has never called me like, I don't think she has called me this year or in fact I would say close to a year now she has never called we just run into each other in programs and we just greet 
and she said the Lord said I should call you and encourage you and that's right dear just you know how know how cold water cold water it was like cold water poured on my head and what was going through my mind was ah, ah Jesus now so you love me is this how you love me is this how close you are to me yes I am here thinking ah this is a vulnerable moment for me this is there are things that happen you guys don't mind us here yeah, sometimes we we have our own moments too but moments like this just humble it humbles me it tells me how close how close this Jesus is to me how much he loves me how how mindful he is how he's thinking about me just at the moment where I, where I was crying I was trying to talk with my husband one thing my husband cannot stand is my tears and so he was already screaming please stop it I don't want you to cry I'm on my way to the company just wait for me there and I thought that my husband was coming he's my macho man he's my superman because me when I get really emotional no mind though I, I, I talk very well when I am happy but when I get hurt when I get hurt I begin to stammer I, I lack words so in times like that I just like my husband to come and handle all those kind of areas but while I was waiting for my husband Jesus contacted someone else and told the person to call me to encourage me Mama Christy Ubeide God bless you ma God bless you I have read, indeed encountered an angel today and the way she was talking she was talking like I told her something and I did not tell her anything that is the beautiful part of it I've encountered things like this before there was a time another time you know recent encounter I had where I was in the church I was right in the church and my soul was you know how your soul is crying you have your makeup and everything on but right inside your soul you're crying that period that my my channel got hurt again you know after building and building and building and right there right in the immediately after the service the pastor my pastor just pointed at me and told me to come and as soon as and you know that everything i had in mind to tell him because i was saying after close of sorry i'm driving and also um this thing after the close of service i will meet him and explain what was going on and then you know have him pray with me he called me and started telling me things things that i was planning to tell him things that in fact i just started i couldn't i couldn't hold it and i encounter such a lot and it takes the over it takes the it takes the ah, it takes i'm sorry it takes the overwhelming love of christ He's closer to you than you think. He's closer to you, closer to you. Even in that situation when you think that, ah, I have prayed, I have fasted, ah, what? Why is the cloud so thick? Why is the cloud so dark? Why is, why is the cloud so thick? Why does it look like the heavens are shut down? It is not true. He's closer to you than you think the overwhelming love of Christ he will never let you go through that storm alone and that word that word from this woman of God this angel that God used to just calm me down calm me down in fact as I was going to that office, the way I was feeling, the way the fire just did my body, like today I go, I go, I say, these people, you are forcing me to act out of my character. I go, I go, I go, show now today. But halfway into 
my journey. I just started pleading the blood of Jesus and I said, Father, please help me. Help me not to do anything out of character. Help me not to act out of character. Help me to comport myself. Holy Spirit, I know I am so hurt. I know this company has really hurt me. I know what they are doing is not right. But Lord Jesus, please, I, I want to represent you. Just help me. Because as he be me like this, I feel, I, somebody if collect, somebody if collect from my side. But Jesus, please, that is not what I want to do. That is not, I don't want to represent you like that. I don't want to be known for drama. I don't want to be known for display of foolishness. I don't want to be known for people saying, oh, you know, tomorrow they'll say, ah, ah, this one will call herself woman of God, but they don't understand what, what, what the fire that has gone through that pushed you to do what you did. So as I was going, I started pleading the blood of Jesus. And when I got to that office and things started getting heated up and I started crying. I just told them, please, my husband is on the way. I'm not going to talk. I can't handle this. Let me sit in the car and let my husband come. And, and while in the car, while in the car was when this phone rang of a woman that I don't talk to. Phone rang. And she said, the Lord asked me to call you. Ah, the Lord asked me to call you to encourage you to encourage you to encourage you and that alone just calmed me down as in Jesus so you are you know what is going on I'm going to let you fix it sometimes I decided to make this video because I know that this will encourage someone. You are human. And yes, there are times where you just feel that, ah, no, Jesus has forgotten me. No, he hasn't. He knows. He is close to you. He is close to you. And he will fix it, I'm telling you. He will fix it. He will send an angel your way. He will send angels in human form your way to calm you down, to answer all those questions. I feel much better now. I'm telling you. Not that the issue was resolved there. They are still begging. They are still, in fact, they are still you know they felt really bad that this took me breaking down in tears but aside the joy in my heart is just overwhelming and the only joy in my heart is not that you guys don't understand the joy in my heart is not that the issue was resolved the joy in my heart is that jesus jesus is thinking about me jesus is thinking about me Jesus loves me so much and he's thinking about me. Whatever you're going through, if you're a believer, please know Jesus is thinking about you. Jesus has you in the hollow of his palm. Jesus loves you. That He didn't come to, to go through the humiliation he went through for just a... No, he loves you that much and he's thinking about you. And he will fix it. Don't worry. He will fix it. These tears is not for pity. These tears is just to know that Jesus loves me. So it's tears of joy. Knowing that Jesus loves me. And Jesus is thinking about me. He's so mindful of me. Kai. I love you guys. Take care. I thought I should use this experience to encourage someone. Jesus loves you. And yes, Jesus is thinking about you. And Jesus knows.
he knows he knows what you're going through and he's an on-time God so don't feel that he has deserted you he will fix it Jesus will fix it Jesus will fix it Jesus Jesus will fix it whatever you're going through he will fix it for you whatever you're going through he will fix it ah the love of Jesus is what is giving me these tears not even the situation that is not handled it is the love the overwhelming love of Jesus it is the overwhelming love of Jesus that is giving me all these chills and all these tears. Do you know what it means for Jesus to think about you? Huh. Kai, 